The Sweet Tooth Killer by Adam Snowflake, full audiobook. Originally published on Amino as Public Domain, second published by Sweet Tooth and Other Creepy Friends, My Shot by Adam Noizek. Story 1, The Beginning of Sweet Tooth Johnny, Johnny, what are you doing? He heard as he played with the hard drive. The robotic piece of technology was a gift from his Uncle Arrow. Johnny Watson had asked for spare computer parts for his birthday this week. The family found it odd. You know, Johnny, I never knew you liked computers, his mother said as she handed him another gift. John opening it, he saw it was Nanuware, new type of smartphone modeled after the tree of knowledge in Catholicism. Johnny began humming a strange tune as he fiddled with the new device. I'm naming her Deborah, Johnny said. You're naming it? his uncle Iroh asked. No, I'm naming her. She's a trans woman, Dad, he said, playing with the new touchscreen. Interesting, Iroh stated eyes wide. That night, there was a rustling in Johnny's bed. He couldn't sleep. He was having nightmares. He woke up and began to fiddle with Deborah. You love me, right, Mikey? The phone screen glitched. On screen was a girl Johnny's age with a slit mouth and green filling covering her mouth. White eyes. The screen changed quickly to Candy Crush, a game Johnny hasn't installed. He heard a robotic voice from his phone. Play with me. Mm -mm, Johnny said. Candy knows. I challenge you to a game of Crush. Johnny Bear yelled triumphantly. Soon the candy became bloody, but eventually the skulls and Kanese ended. I win. Na 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 boo boo. Johnny smiled. You win. The voice said. And like that, the green ghost disappeared. The next day, Johnny looked at his computer parts. He put his hand to the hard drive. My name's Johnny. What's yours? Klinghol. Cl cl Can I just call you Kay? Johnny asked. The broken motherboard began to ooze blood. Every kiss starts with you. Soon, Johnny was fiddling with it, hands covered in blood, but the computer now owning another part. There, just like new. Johnny licked his fingers and laughter. <laughs> he then went to the bedroom and began washing his hands. Dr. Nightmare, am I doing this right? A corrupted voice came from the mirror. Yes, dog, you're doing perfect. And then a few days later, Johnny had a party. His best friend Sally gifted him some homemade keyboard earrings and his wealthy friend Jasmine gifted him a rainbow keyboard. Gee, thanks guys. His poor friend Tori just gave him a drawing. His name is Sweet Tooth. He's a nightmare. What's a nightmare? Johnny asked. Tori whispered. It's like a dreamer, but spooky. And your best songs turned evil. Servant of evil, judgment of corruption. The thoughts were starting again. Damn it! Johnny yelled at his birthday party. All the girl turns towards him. I mean, yay! Party! Woo! Balloons, Mando Pony. That night. Johnny was spending at his Aunt Jenny's. Jenny. They're called intrusive thoughts. If you were a computer, it would be pop up wear. Johnny. Oh. Suddenly, his voice and phone started vibrating. He pulled out Deborah. It's called Elmo Jump. Johnny laughed. The BRD. Hey, it's Millie. Can you play around? Johnny asked his Aunt Jenny. Sure, nameless king. Oops, look like I lost. Johnny began laughing as his aunt coughed off orange and went to her bed. Almost Alice, follow me. Tell me, Johnny, do you hear voices? Johnny smiled wide, the widest she'd ever seen him do mid-cousin smile. With soulless eyes and a grin, he spoke. Yes, I do. They say this. Ready to play with you now? <laughs> Johnny laughed. Jenny looked at her chest. I'm glad the last phase was yours. <laughs> She began coughing again. Good night, Johnny. She kissed his forehead, then she left. The next morning, his Aunt Jenny was found dead in her bed from lung cancer. Johnny sighed. His mother told him his aunt was sleeping weird, and that's all. That's not what Papa Legon says, Johnny said, talking about the voices in his head. Who's Papa Legon, Johnny? His mother asked with a tone in her voice. He's my favorite doll man, Mr. No Name, Mr. Nobody. When they arrived home, his mother threw out his collection. Mommy, stop! <laughs> <laughs>
Johnny said, crying. These are of the devil, she said, throwing bad-smelling sage as she got rid of her son's dolls. In the name of Jesus, I banish you. Three days later, Johnny's mom died. Johnny moved in with his dad. Can I ask you something, Sam? Mr. Conan asked. Is Fred into Shaggy? The gang's Polly, Johnny said happily. Oh, you know your mother and I were getting a divorce. Johnny stared at his hands, listening to almost Alice on his cell phone like Walkman. Dad, can we have a TV party? Sure, kiddo. And then Jake pulled out a glass tea set. My teapot! Johnny smiled. Yes, this was yours as aviator or run. He smiled. Johnny waves his hands and clapped them. Can I tell me why you went to jail? Joel needed me. You mean Jarrell, Superman's pa? Yes, Johnny. Mr. Conan sipped his tea. Do you like the flavor? I want something sweeter. Of course, my Severus sweet tooth. His father said. He pulled out some pumpkin ice cream. Try it. Itadakimasu! Johnny said, clasping his hands. It's really yum. Sally from the ring wants some too. Here, I'll just leave her her own ice cream by the window. Jake took some and left it at the windowsill in a glass. She says you have till 67, even though you're only 23. <laughs> Jake glared his laugh. That's my Sam. Jake Conan, Johnny's dad, smiled. What song are you on? Jake Conan asked his son. Will you or won't you join the dance? You know, I work businesses. I sell boxes. <laughs> Jake made a silly joke. I know. Johnny smiled. Just promise me something. Jake began to tear up. You'll always be kind. He said, bawling in front of his son. Johnny didn't understand. I promise, Dad. <laughs> Johnny scratched his head. That night, Johnny had a heart attack in his sleep. It finally got him. The race wasn't fast enough. Jake threw a Jewish wake. There was a girl with red hair and blue eyes and tons of freckles. Jake sat her down. What's your name? Tabitha. Why do you think you're here? It's my party. She smiled. My name's Sweetie, and today's my death day. Jake pulled her close in a morning cry. And that's the story of the creepypasta known as Sweet Tooth. He is Game Master's younger brother. It's public domain, so guys go wild. The original writer is Adam Snowflake and Adam Osamu with edits by Aaron Snowflake and Dazai Lampert. The end. Narrated by Adam Snowflake.